Hi, today we are going to learn algorithm. Algorithm is a finite set of steps for solving a particular problem. And that problem can be a real life problem or a, any mathematical problem. For example, there is a person A and this want to instruct B about making a T. So A say to B, first step, you put the pot on the heater, second step, put water and some milk and next step boil it and mix some tea and sugar and next step wait for 10 minutes and switch off the heater and your tea is ready. So this is the steps A has instructed to B. So these finite set of steps are known as algorithm for making a T. The algorithm has a property finiteness, definiteness, input, output and effectiveness. Finiteness, a algorithm must terminate after finite steps. That is, that is must. Definiteness, each step must be precisely defined. And there should be some input and output in that algorithm. And an algor effectiveness is an algorithm to be developed using basic operation like plus, minus, multiplication or some assignment, some standard assignment operators. So let's create algorithm for these two problems. Find area of circle and find greater number between two numbers. For finding area of circle, you require a radius value. So algorithm is first step, read or input. You may write anything. Read radius r for circle. Next step, calculate area. This is assignment operator. You can also put equal operator. Pi r square. So pi, you, have, you can mention here. 22 by 7 also. Step 3, print area. So after following these three steps, you are able to calculate area of any circle. So this is an algorithm. This is finite step. So it holds first property. Each step must be precisely defined. Second property is also hold. There is some input and there is some output and some basic operations are used. So it holds all the algorithm property. Next example is find greater number between two numbers. So for example, two numbers A and B are given, you have to find the greater number. The first step is read number A and B. If A greater than B, second step, then C is a variable that holds greater value c equal to a next step if b greater than a then c equal to b so print c so c will hold greater value either a or b so this is the algorithm for finding greater number between two number next problem is write algorithm to find roots of quadratic equation so this algorithm is important. So rules of quadratic equation is, as we know, the formula is minus b plus minus b square minus 4 square under root divided by whole divided by 2a. So we have first step is we have to declare the variables that we are going to use the variables a, b, c, these coefficients and uh, for root I have put r1 r2 and d d for d equal to b square minus 4ac so these variables are declared next step read coefficient a b c it means we need the value of a b c for calculating roots now calculate d equal to b square minus 4ac this is next step and step 4 if d is less than 0 Print roots are imaginary and go to step 6. Step 6 is end. 
so if roots are imaginary then directly it will jump from this place and it will skip these in between steps so go to statement perform this way it directly jumps else if this condition does not hold if it is false then it will go to else r1 is a first root equal to minus b plus square root of d square root of d and whole divided by 2a and r2 equal to minus b minus square root of d and whole divided by 2a a print roots r1 and r2 now end so this is the algorithm for finding roots of quadratic equation the if else statement runs in this way first you put if and some expression like a is greater than b a equal to b or a is greater than equal to b this type of expression you can put here if it is true then statement next statement will execute if it is false then it will go to statement 2 for example if i have written here expression 5 is greater than 3 so 5 is greater than 3 is true only statement 1 will execute it will not execute statement 2 uh, the extended form of this if else is if expression some expression statement 1 if true then print statement 1 else if again this is nested leaf nested if you may put more than one condition expression 2 so if it is true then statement 2 will execute otherwise statement 3 for example finding greater value among a b c so first you check a is greater than b and next you may check b, a b is greater than c b is greater than c I mean if a is greater than b false it means b is greater next statement if b is greater than c is true then statement 2 will give you greater value so these are the example of algorithm thank you